Hey, I'm Jamie from Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the Bug Council of Backyardia. And really, it's two mechanisms. There are two really interesting, well, there are a number of interesting choices in the game. There are two things that I'm going to highlight today. One is an initial choice that you make at the beginning of each of the three rounds. Each round is a hand of cards. Uh, at that point, you're going to decide who you want to ally with during the course of that round. Are you going to ally with a council itself or whatever this centerpiece represents? I forget the thematic terminology of it. Um, the centerpiece, we'll call it the, the, the king of the bugs in the middle there, uh, represents an attempt at a nil bid. Um, and if you're successful in winning no tricks, if you, have, if you have won no tricks at the end of the hand, you gain 10 points. That's huge. But you also have the opportunity to gain points for every token that's in the middle of this section. And early on in the game, there may not be many tokens there, but over the course of the rounds, they might accumulate there. And they accumulate Moncala style because each hand that, or each trick that's played, um, the player who played the lowest value card of the lead suit gets to pick up all the tokens from this Moncala, drop them off one by one, and if there's any leftover tokens after hitting all five spots, they go in the middle. So there's a little Moncala rondelle game going on, even as you are also trying to not win any tricks. Also, one little nice part about choosing that alliance, in addition to getting potentially a lot of points, uh, two really nice things, actually. One is you uh, get to discard one card from your hand. You get to choose one card and discard it from your hand. Two, uh, so you can choose like a really high card that you're worried about winning a trick with, get it out of your hand. Two, uh, even if you end up start winning some tricks, so if your nil bid is gone and you start to win some tricks, you get points for every trick. So a nil bid or a nil, a nil attempt is not lost, even if you... Uh, even if you end up winning some tricks. The other alliance is just as interesting in some ways because you're just trying to win a lot of tricks. Um, but at certain times, you might try to play that low card of the lead suit so that you can impact this Moncala because uh, two, that impacts two things in the game. One is at the end of the round, every player who chose that alliance has one more card than a player who chose the middle alliance, the, the nil bit attempt. And those players, I'll hold it up so you can see the hand of cards for a second. Those players will have one card left over and that card, the suit of that card, they'll get one point for every token associated with that color on the council at the end of the round. Um, they're also trying to obviously win as many tricks as possible, which is great. They have that extra card, so they have a slight advantage there. Um, and But at certain times, they're trying, as a result, even though they're trying to win a lot of tricks, there might be times where they don't want to win the trick. They want to play that low card so they can impact the council. Uh, because, and this is the last little twist here, the council determines the value of each suit at any given time. And it fluctuates, it changes every single trick. And so right now there are more tokens in the blue area. And so the blue suit is worth more than any other suit. It is like the Trump of the Trump suits. And then uh, there's a, there's two tokens in the red area here. So red is better than green and purple over here. Uh, yellow is the, the worst right now because yellow has no cubes in it. And so it's this ever shifting uh, uh, hierarchy of suits that changes every single trick based on that low card played and how the person who played that low card of the lead suit impacts the Moncala. A lot of neat and trying mechanisms. It actually might sound like a lot talking about a trick taking game, but it actually comes together really well. I had a lot of fun playing this at Geekwood of the West. If this reminds you of any other games that you've played, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Or if you've played Bug Council of Backyardia, let me know your thoughts here as well. Thanks.